I'm Deborah Myberg and I'm with Thierry Pouin from Domaine des Lambrais. Uh, so Thierry, tell me a little bit about the property. Our property is located in Moray Saint Denis, in the uh -huh. heart of Côte de Nuit, between to the north side uh, Gevray Chambertin and to mm -hmm. the south side Chambol Musigny. Moray Saint Denis is a small, small, small vineyard, very known by all the Grand Cru, Claude de Tarte. Four. Four. Yes. Four and a little bit of a bon Four, Four and a half. half. <laughs> the largest is Claude de la Roche, the second wine Claude de Lambre. The third uh, Clos de Tar, and uh, the smallest is Clos Saint-Denis, which is only 6 and 25 hectares. Where does the name Lambre come from? Lambre is probably come from uh, the name of two brothers. They uh, are coming from the uh, Haute-Saône department. Uh -huh. uh, it's a name, the name of... As you know, in Maurice saint there is a domain du Jacques. Of course. The name of Jacques says. Yes. This is a real Burgundy, um, evidently uh, occasion. Voilà. The style of Lambre, we don't, I haven't had many, what mm -hmm. can you tell me about it? We are in the center of Moray Saint Denis, mm -hmm. okay, at the end of a small valley, we, come, we call that a small comb, uh -huh. uh, and from this valley, especially after a very, very hot day in <laughs> summer, when there is a cooler air stream which is going down on the vineyards, I think it's very important, as you know, the microclimate in Burgundy is mm. very, very important. Mm. And Claude de Lambre is completely different from Claude de Tarte and mm -hmm. Claude Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the wines are okay. completely different also. Tell me about the winery itself. What's it like? The winery is completely new. Oh, yeah. it's new. We, okay. we make the wine only in stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we, we make, uh, especially in Lambre, normally we absolutely don't distem. We mm. make the wine, we always Why stem. don't you de -stem? Alors, we don't de -stem because we, we get better drainage mm -hmm. in the juice when mm -hmm. we put the juice the over in. the cap, yeah. when we press also. And I think we get a silky character mm -hmm. that you can obtain. And do you with. have a concern about what the stems contribute to the wine? Yes, the stems is... Uh, w when you compare to that, uh, one completely de -stem and the other one all bunches, the temperature, the, the temperature is growing slowly, stays longer time at the top and decreases very slowly. In the vat, completely this time, you have a temperature like that, ah. very quick up and down. And how about alcohol levels? We are not looking for high alcohol because uh, normally I am always in the first to harvest, but we make a big selection, you know. Mm -hmm. The date of harvest depends on many, many parameters. It depends on your yield, it depends on the quality of your leaves, it depends the, the work you make in the winery. Okay, we, if you make a big, big selection, for example, in, in, in 2011, I have made 25 hectoliters of rosé, simple burgundy rosé, on the sorting uh, table. We take off all the yeah. grapes which are not completely ripe as and we want, and we press directly, and we produce a simple rose. burgundy. Yeah, yeah. Especially for a Japan market. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, we like our wines with color. Uh, now tell me, what's your favorite meal with a glass of Lambre? It depends on the vintage. Ah. With 2010, <laughs> with 2010 you, you can take uh, uh, meat, uh, red meat, red meal, meat as a beef, something uh -huh. sirloin beef, with 11, I think, poultry is better. Okay. And with uh, 06, for example, choose lamb. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for thanks for your suggestions. Thank you. And uh, it's good to meet you.